Good morning, guys. waking up at 5 a.m. I have a lot to do today. I had something I had to turn in this morning past the deadline, but they gave me an extension. So I woke up early just to get that done and out of the way. We went to the gym, went home, ate breakfast, got ready. I'm gonna go get some work done at a coffee shop. The thing is with me and my personality, I can get work done at home early in the morning. Once the late morning arrives and like late in the afternoon arrives i tend to get so distracted so easily like i get on my phone i start like playing around with mila i start scrolling on tiktok so lately i've been trying to leave the house and get work done outside of the house and it's worked so well for me so today i need to study and i also need to script out a video we'll finish scripting out a video that i started last week I've been doing a lot of sit down videos lately, which I love, and I put in a lot of time and effort into those videos. I like them to be really organized, not super rambly. I like to get to the point, so I script those videos out, and it takes me a couple of hours to do that. So I'm going to do that here at this coffee shop called Merit. I think I'm going to make this like a way I eat in a day as well. Like, just throw everything in this video because I don't vlog often, so why not just throw everything that we can into the video? Why not? We have a lot to do. So I just paid for my parking, so we got to get out of here because. We're not wasting. We're not wasting our parking money, okay? Let me know what time you wake up in the morning and what time you have to be at work. What is your schedule in the morning? What does it look like? Let me know down below. Oh, 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 oh,
gonna share with you guys what I got. It's honestly the most basic grocery shop ever. It might be basic, but this is what keeps me on track and helps me not fail basically at my goals. So yeah, um, this is my quick grocery haul. She might be small, but she is mighty, okay? So we have chicken. I love making chicken weekly. It's great for protein and I'll show you guys how I make my chicken for my weight loss journey. It's the best chicken ever and it's really helped me stay on track and it tastes really good. So this is the chicken I get from HEB. This is the ground turkey that I get, 85% lean, 15% fat. Yes, it's high in fat, but I love this ground turkey. I like black beans with my taco bowls, so stocked up on black beans. Also got some salsa. Salsa is great when you're trying to lose weight as well. Um, got some potatoes, onions, jalapenos, red bell pepper, um, flour tortillas and cheese. Michael loves Mexican cheese, so I always get this for him. I'm still dairy free, so I don't really consume this right now. Um, yeah, and then lastly, I got this pesto chili to try with my chicken today. So we'll see how that pans out. I have never tried this before, but we're gonna give it a shot with my chicken today. Honestly guys, I'm just being very simple with everything when it comes to weight loss, fitness journey, whatever it is, you just need to keep things simple. Don't do too much, stick with the basics, stick with the things that you like honestly, truly like, and don't make it too complicated. Don't make it too complicated. But yeah, we're gonna make some lunch here soon because I'm starving, I have been doing a lot, and yeah.
try that chicken. It's so easy to make and it is just like going to help you reach your goals every single time, okay? So make sure you guys try the chicken. I will put the recipe down below. However, bear with me because I don't know measurements like that, okay? I just be eyeballing things. But yeah, <laughs> I'll put the recipe down below. But I thought it would be so fun to end this video talking about my Apple Music replay for 2023. It's basically like Spotify wrapped, but the Apple Music version of it. Top artists, number one is SZA, of course, which is not a surprise. I'm a huge SZA stan, loved SOS, loved Control, loved Z. Like, I just love SZA in general. She's like one of my favorite artists. Number two is Taylor Swift, which is kind of surprising to me, but not really because I feel like number two should have been Ariana Grande. However, I boycotted Ariana Grande this year because <laughs> of her little scandal. I was a little, you know, disappointed in her. Yeah, I had to boycott her for a little bit, <laughs> but I forgive her. Not that I'm the one that needs to forgive her, but <laughs> you know, that's why Ariana Grande is number three and not number two. She should have been number two though, but yeah. I'm back to listening to her music though because I forgive her. I feel like Drake is such a basic one, honestly. I feel like everyone loves Drake, but I listen to a lot of Drake's old stuff. Like I am a huge lover of Drake's older stuff. Like my whole 20s was consumed by Drake. I will never forget when he dropped Take Care. I was like 18 when he dropped it. So I listen to a lot of his old stuff. And then Frank Ocean as well. Self-explanatory, I love Frank Ocean. And again, I listen to a lot of his old stuff as well. Top songs. Okay, so number one is actually a tie between Calm Down by Rema and Selena Gomez and Snooze by SZA, which is very accurate. These are the two songs I listen to the most. Okay, Snooze is my favorite song on SOS and Calm Down is just like my favorite song. And then I was really happy when Selena Gomez jumped on it, so I listened to it. I listen to Calm Down way too much. Cardigan by Taylor Swift is like my favorite gloomy day, like rainy day song and my feels song. Like I love it so much. A Lot by 21 Savage. Best intro for a song ever. The intro, the intro on this song is the best intro of all time. You cannot convince me otherwise. I love a lot and yeah, it just gets me in like a really hype mood to work out and do other things, you know. It's like a hype song. And then Bad Habits because it's such a feel good song and I'm just a feel good girly, okay? <laughs> Top Albums, Blonde by Frank Ocean, Freudian by Daniel Caesar. I'm always in my feels, guys. These are just good like moody albums to play when you just are overstimulated and you just need a moment. Positions by Ariana Grande, a huge fave. Destiny Fulfilled by Destiny's Child. <laughs> this album is so good. I will never forget like learning this album when I was literally a child. I knew every, I still know every word like on this album by Destiny's Child. I was a huge Destiny's Child fan. And I still listen to this album to this day. I think this is their last album too. And I don't know, I still know it word by word. Love it. Um, and Never Enough by Daniel Caesar. Again, I love moody music. And overall, I'm just a pop girly. I'm a pop princess girly. I listen to pop music. And yeah, Ariana Grande should have been number two. But yeah, I boycotted her this year, so. <laughs> but if she goes on tour, I'm going to see her. Yeah, I'm not missing her tour. But yeah. SZA is number one though, that's very accurate. I saw SZA in concert this past year. That was like the best night of my life. It was so fun. Like that was probably the highlight of 2023 was seeing SZA and like her whole album just spoke to me. And yeah, I just love SZA overall. I'm just so proud of her and happy for her success. And she just speaks to me. But let me know what your like Spotify rap was down below or your Apple Music replay. Cause I wanna know what kind of music y'all listen to. And that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I feel so good. Today was a great productive day. I got a lot of things done. And I'm just gonna shower, wind down, make some tea, chillax, watch some movies. Um, I know I'm gonna get questions on like how I have the energy to wake up early, like how do I wake up? 
I have a video on that. I'm gonna leave it in the cards, so just click the I. I have a video titled How to Wake Up at 5 a.m. and How to Avoid a Midday Slump and all that good stuff. I give really good information in that video, so check it out. I have been waking up consistently for the last like three or four months now, so I just wanna say this. If you're waking up consistently at 5 a.m. and you're treating your body right and you're eating healthy and drinking enough water, this will come very easy to you over time. Like I've done a lot today and I did not hit a midday slump. I'm not tired. And that's because I've done this consistently for so long that my body is like so used to it. So yeah, if, you, if, you're, if you're watching this, I'll get my hand. If you're watching this and wondering like how is she able to go through the day, it's just because I do it so often and I take really good care of my body too because if you're not taking care of your body, waking up this early will feel like death. It'll feel awful. So yeah, I don't drink caffeine, I don't drink coffee, I don't drink any of that. I had some chai today, like a chai um, earlier, but I didn't even drink it all because it just had a lot of sugar and I wasn't trying to like have my blood sugar spike too much. But other than that, like I have no caffeine and I don't need caffeine to like keep myself going. However, however, your girl is going to be asleep by 9.30. Like I get so tired once nine o'clock rolls around. And that's the only like disadvantage of waking up early is that like you have to go to bed early every night because your body is just ready to like knock out. But let me tell you, I have the best sleep, man. I have the best sleep when I'm waking up consistently early. It's like, ugh, there's nothing better. My sleep quality is chef's kiss. But yeah, guys, I'm like super hyper now. What time is it? It's 6.30, we've had a full day and it's time to wind down at 6.30. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below and let me know if you wanna see more videos like this where I bring you along with me from you know, early morning to like late at night. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, peace out, Girl Scout. Bye.